Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Invitation to confession. Jesus said, before you offer your gifts, go and be reconciled. As brothers and sisters in God's family, we come together to ask our Father for forgiveness of our sins. For all have sinned and fallen short of his glory. Savior Jesus Christ, you called us to follow you, but so often we go astray. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to serve others, but, so, but instead we serve ourselves. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to love our neighbors, but we have turned our backs on the needs of the needy. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to forgive, but foolishly, we nurse grievances. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to trust, love, and obey you, but we repeatedly doubt, superficially love you, and disobey. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to speak of your love, testify to your goodness in our lives, and preach the good news. But too often, we stay silent. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to take up our cross and follow you, but we are afraid of what that might cost us. Lord of life, forgive us. You called us to remember all you have done for us, but so easily we forget. Lord of life, forgive us. Day after day, through what we do or fail to do, we betray your call and deny your love. Lord of life, forgive us. By adventure, I have not mentioned the area of your life where you have sinned against God. I'm going to invite people who are watching or who are going to watch later to open your heart up to God and say, Lord, use your searchlight, the Holy Spirit, to look at every uh, nook and cranny of my heart, of my soul, where I have repressed, whether bitterness, unforgiveness, jealousy, whatever sin I have um, locked away, whether somebody offended you even when you were growing up, somebody said something, the teacher said something, the parents said something, and you've, you've repressed that deep, 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 deep. And occasionally you bring it out and you mourn about it. So ask the Holy Spirit to use the searchlight to expose every area of your life that you are that is not supposed to be there because you are carrying poison in yourself. When you repress negativity, you are carrying poisonous that seeps into your system and can give you depression, can give you anxiety. So it's better to, to deal with things as they come. Offense will come, definitely. You will offend people and people will offend you. Offense will come, but you have to deal with it daily. Don't sleep with offense because you are only injuring yourself. You are only hampering yourself, apart from the fact that it is sin against a holy God. So... Father, any area of our life that we will have sinned against you, be it prayerlessness, powerlessness, covetousness, immoral thought, immoral deed, not loving enough, not worshipping enough, not giving enough, not witnessing enough, every act of omission, every act of commission, Father, forgive us in Jesus' name, every act of anxiety or, or doubt, everywhere where we have not completely and fully love, trust, and obey you. Father, forgive us in Jesus' name. Cleanse us with your blood and we shall be whiter than snow in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Help us to run from sin, just like David, uh, just like Joseph did. When Joseph was being tempted with sin, he ran. Help us to run when there's temptation to sin coming our way. Help us, give us the strength to be able to stand and having done all to stand with your word. Give us your word. Put your word in our mouth to speak at the right time. When the enemy of our souls come to, to attack us, give us a ready word like Jesus used to reply uh, the devil so that we can reply with your word and conquer and switch on the light. So when darkness come our way, help us to switch on the light of God in our lives so that Darkness will, dis will be dispelled from us. Darkness will run because of the word of God, because of the light of the word of God. Thank you, Tamarok of Ages. Be thou exalted.
for in Jesus precious glorious powerful name we have prayed by your mercy and grace we ask all of this in Jesus precious powerful and priceless name amen no one conceals their mistakes or sins will prosper but whosoever confesses them and turns from them will obtain mercy and grace may the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins heal and strengthen us by his Holy Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior amen 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 Jesus name